People think that semen retention improves testosterone, fertility, and semen volume. Now, in my previous videos, I've talked about the science behind semen retention, particularly in terms of testosterone and fertility. There's only been two really small studies with 10 men and 29 men that look at testosterone levels after doing a period of semen retention. So it's through 10 days, three weeks. Through all the literature, there's only two small studies which have looked at the change in testosterone concentration in the blood after a period of semen retention. And in those small studies, of course, there was only 10 and 29 young, healthy men who abstained from masturbation during that period of time. And in one study, they did see an increase in testosterone after three weeks of abstinence. But again, these are young, healthy men, and they also know that at the end of the study, they're going to get to watch an erotic film and masturbate. And so anticipatory cues are actually very very powerful in terms of sex hormones. There's, there's a number of studies that have shown that your sex hormones actually increase when you have anticipatory cues. So when you think you're going to get a certain reward, and in this case sex, your body works by increasing those sex hormones to increase your drive to go get it. And the other study, which included 29 men, did show an increase in testosterone after seven days, but then it quickly decreased. So these increases are likely very short-lived, and these increases are likely due, again, to um, these anticipatory cues, and if they do increase, are likely very, very short-lived. And in terms of fertility, you actually see a decline in semen quality the longer you abstain from ejaculating. So after about five to seven days, you're seeing more DNA fragmentation and worsening morphology, meaning the shape of the sperm and motility or movement of the sperm.